don't mess with Texas. Waking up in Lake Bastineau State Park, surrounded by the Louisiana Bayou. Ah, uh, it was like a movie set. Giant trees covered with foliage, rising out of the swamp, encircled by water and wetlands. Mist rising from the lake, creating a surreal and magical landscape. This was the sight which greeted Ella and Gabby in that bright and shining morning, day four of their cross-country journey to California. As Gabby prepared her morning medication, she wondered about the laws for marijuana here. She checked online. Six months and $500 for any amount. I think that means nobody is looking for me out here in the middle of nowhere. She sat back and exhaled. Ah. Oh. Ella had made breakfast and was out taking pictures. In her mind, though, she had already begun the trip west again. They would have to stop somewhere and get another tire. She hoped Gabby had budgeted for this unforeseen but not totally unexpected circumstance. She hoped, too, that they'd be able to find a spare tire somewhere on the cheap. Off the two went, west on Highway 80 again. The tire gods had smiled on them, and they were able to get a tire in Bossier City, home of Barksdale Air Force Base. Gabby knew there was an Air Force Base nearby because jets kept buzzing the Casablanca Tire Company every five minutes. The little tire shop sure had was in a good spot. The noise from the jets drowned out the reverberation from the pneumatic guns. <laughs> and a few hundred flyovers later, the tire was repaired. They were set to roll. California bound, but first, Texas. California, here we come, they sang. Little did they know, the adventures that started yesterday would be continuing later today. So they drove blissfully west to and through Texas. Driving west does have its upside, especially in the morning due to the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. As long as they reached the RV park before sundown, it was all good. You know they didn't make it. The setting sun was searing into Ella's eyes like sun through a magnifying glass. Against the slowly sinking ball of fire in the sky, the sun visor and shades were no match. Still, she drove west towards Wichita Falls. Gabby was trying to make heads or tails of her AAA maps and at the same time read street signs as they whizzed past at 40 miles an hour. The directions in the camp book read, I-4, exit 1A, 1.2 miles south, 2944 Seymour Highway, business 277. Well, that's pretty clear, right? Wrong. <laughs> they stopped at a neighborhood convenience store twice got to use the running lights on the trailer because the sun had gone down by now. Finally, just over the next to the last hill in town, Wichita Falls RV Park. It was 8 p.m. and the office was closed. The directions on the board outside the office said to check the campground map and park in any free area. That's exactly what they did. Ella parked the trailer, filled the cooler with ice and beer, went outside and planted herself in her camping chair. Gabby had taken some medication and took her place next to Ella. We're here at last, th she thought, Texas, halfway across the country. She began thumbing through the AAA camp book. Honey, it says here that there's a coin laundry, hot showers, and Wi-Fi. Ella looked over to Gabby, her new love and interest always so enthusiastic and ready to do things. She just smiled. Ella was pooped. I'm just glad we're stopped, she said. The sky was filled with stars. Not so many lights around here, thought Ella. You could probably count them if you wanted. The night was quiet and cool. Twenty or so minutes after Ella and Gabby had settled, a lone diesel busher lumbered into the RV park. It was a beauty, too. A 2005 Allegro Phaeton. One more camper getting off the road for the night. That night, Gabby didn't even think about the fact 
that if she got arrested in Texas for possessing marijuana, medical or otherwise, she could possibly be spending a year in jail. That certainly would put a little detour in her California-bound adventure. Tonight, though, she and Ella would rest beneath the Texas sky and with the grace of God, wait to see another day of adventures in a new town, a new state. Wow, life is good to be continued.